Nestled just northeast of bustling Mexico City, Teotihuacan beckons visitors from all over the world with its towering pyramids, captivating history, and enigmatic allure. This ancient city of mysteries and marvels is known for its impressive pyramids, and a day trip from CDMX is the perfect way to experience this famous site. It is currently 4 in the morning, and we have woken up bright and early to go and see sunrise over in Teotihuacan. But we aren't just going to go and see sunrise in any form or fashion, we will be riding a hot air balloon as the sun rises up from the horizon line. And so we are very, very excited. This is actually going to be our third time riding a hot air balloon. Our first time was over in Luxor, Egypt, and then our second was in Cappadocia, Turkey. And now we are going to see a bird's eye view of Mexico City. So without further ado, let's hop on over to our meeting point so that we can go and see sunrise. You might have noticed that at the beginning of all of our videos here in Mexico City, we are wearing our puffer jackets and it's because it cools down like crazy at night. I believe it's 50 degrees outside. And what's really nice about this tour is that we also get a transfer over to Teotihuacan. So although we had to wake up early, we we're going to be able to nap in the car ride, which I'm very excited for. <laughs> no one's on the streets. It's like we're on a movie set. <laughs> uh, this, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh -huh. Papalote, okay? The name of this balloon is Papalote. Papalote. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna be your pilot for today. My name is Isaac. Isaac for any questions, okay? First row and the most important row. Everybody stay inside the basket all the time, okay? So place nobody to fly, okay? We're gonna be taking off in just a few moments. Our balloon is called Papalote. <laughs> on how to describe this flight. It's just been so peaceful, relaxing, and exciting all at the same time. Yeah, there's a reason why we've done this experience three times now in different countries, and it's because it is just such a relaxing way to begin the day. And as a night owl, I rarely get to see the sunrise. <laughs> especially special yeah. <laughs> for me. Um, I feel like I'm always watching the sun set, but being able to start the day at the same time the sun is coming up from the horizon, it's definitely it's something nice. to remember. It's also, I love the crisp mornings. Yeah, and the way the light catches right when the sun rises, all the shadows are so elongated. Yeah. And there's this light fog in the air that kind of makes the glow just all the more magical.
just finished up our complimentary lunch. It was very delicious. It was buffet style. And there was a mariachi band playing for us at one point. But now we've transferred over to a van because believe it or not, the tour is not over. We actually get to go and see Teotihuacan up close and personal. We are going to go and explore the ruins. And I think we have plenty of time. They're saying like they won't be picking us up until 1 o'clock. So that means four hours in the ruins. Um, so I think we'll be able to see it all. <laughs> We have officially made it into Tehotihuacan. <laughs> Claire's much better at saying it than me. I've been trying. I'll always be like Tehotihuacan, and then I, I lose my confidence on it. <laughs> Tickets cost us 95 pesos per person, and now we get to see not only the Pyramid of the Sun, but also the Pyramid of the Moon. And we are walking over there now. It already looks very, very different than what it looked like from the hot air balloon. <laughs> it's really big. Yeah. Our first stop of the day is the Temple of the Sun, and it is absolutely massive. It is apparently one of the largest pre-Hispanic pyramids of its time from 100 AD to 600 AD. And this place really is so much bigger than I expected. Seeing it from the hot air balloon, I'm like, okay, that's, that's pretty big, I guess. But looking at it from down below, you definitely get just the sheer size of this thing. So apparently they are not sure about who specifically built this entire complex. It could have been um, a local tribe in this area at the time, but honestly, they're not really sure. But what they do know is that it was a city that I believe at its height had over 200,000 people living in it. And all along this avenue called the Avenue of the Dead, it leads to the other temple, which is the Temple of the Moon. But one of the things that was kind of interesting is that the entire avenue is aligned with the volcano in the distance. And so it's not quite on Cardinal North, it's like 15 degrees off. But overall, they've really got their math right. It's very geometrically shaped, like very impressive for the time. This entire complex used to be bright red and just painted with so many colors and we're now going to go inside to one section that is still preserving the original colors. So we are currently in the patio of the pillars and on the pillars there are a couple of birds that have been carved into the stone. So there's one that's front facing and then a side view and what's really interesting is you can kind of tell which ones are the original stones and which ones are the replacement stones. So the ones that are a little bit more crisp like that one right over there um, that would be a replacement and then the ones that are a little bit more faded a little bit more ground down those would be the original <laughs> wow so smart <laughs> <laughs> so a little pro tip if you decide to visit teotihuacan you're going to want to bring sun protection and i mean the whole deal you want the sun hat you want the sunglasses sunscreen and that's because there's literally no shade here and the sun is very very powerful Whew. We've been looking for a shade tree for quite some time. I think, I we think found one. we're finally coming up on one. <laughs> but with that said, I wanted to add that it is quite cool today as well though. Like the sun is intense, but it does feel nice at the same time. Yeah, we just uh, are thinking back to that moment where we got like crazy sunburned and we don't want that again. <laughs> no, we do not. Alas, all good things must come to an end. We are heading towards the exit to catch a bus to go back into Mexico City. So we actually have about an hour before the bus will arrive. So we've come to this nice shaded spot. We've thrown down our gravel travel blanket and yes. we've actually been traveling with this blanket for the past two years and we only travel with carry-on. So making the space for this blanket means we really, really love it. <laughs> yeah, it's been super nice because this blanket can turn into a pillow. So when Claire is mm -hmm. taking naps on me yeah. in most taxi rides or long distance travel, We'll plop it right here. Claire is so cozy, but also we can just throw it down like we are right now and sit on it, use it like a picnic blanket or at yeah. the beach. It's also super lightweight and it yeah. packs down to like 
this big. <laughs> yeah, it's really small. Like you can just throw it in my backpack and right. I pretty much always just have it with me. I also really like the company and that's kind of why I wanted to bring them up right now. I was like, hey Claire, we should mention the blanket. Yeah. Just because they're a small company, I believe there's only four people as a part of the team mm -hmm. and they work really hard to just come out with some really cool products. Yeah, we love supporting other small businesses. So if you're interested in checking out this travel blanket or any of the other products they have on their site, we'll link in the description box below and use our coupon code because I think you'll get 10% off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. But now we shall wait until the bus arrives. Maybe yeah. take a quick nap. <laughs> Enjoy the atmosphere. <laughs> First one's yours. So we just watched the smartest businessman I've ever seen. He's a fruit vendor that is selling fruit to everyone that's about to get picked up from the bus at the side exit of Teotihuacan. Mm -hmm. He literally sold so many cups in just like five minutes. Yeah, it's really good fruit. Oh yeah. my god. Mm -hmm. This afternoon we have quite the feast. We first started off with a nice jar of Jamaica because we had it in the food tour video. Oh my goodness, it's so good. If you don't know what it is, it's made from hibiscus flour. And then the first uh, entree that we got is the enchilada roja. And then we also got this beautiful tamale. Ooh, it smells so good. And then we always have to get a soup on that table. We have sopa azteca and the cheese is just melted all over. Oh, can't wait to dig into that. And then we also have a complimentary bread basket. So yeah, let's feast up. Also, the name of the place that we are at is called Cafe Pagoda, and I really like the vibe of this place. It's like a diner, and we were walking by it yesterday, and I saw all of their fresh bread out front. And so now I realize that you get free bread whenever you order here. I love that there's like a lot of locals that'll come in, they can have their food real quick, up at the diner stand, or in a booth. Very cool. Thank you so much for joining us on our day trip to Teotihuacan. Tomorrow, we are actually flying over to another part of Mexico and exploring for a little bit longer. So if you'd like to see where we go next, hit subscribe as we travel to 50 countries around the world. And with all that said, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.